VOM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day to you and thank you very much for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorogo Elkana Mowari. Today on the program, as always, our focus is on the Nigerian economy. We shall be speaking with select industry operators about their businesses, the operating environment and other related issues. Also on the lineup is Let's Talk and our focus is on Pride Rock Innovations and Realties Limited one of the fastest growing real estate firms in Nigeria. On Spot On, we shall bring you a highly experienced British trained photographer and entrepreneur who is the founder and chief executive officer of Dio Adidayo Photography. And on the face-to-face -face is a certified engineer, visionary and goal-getting industry captain, Kazim Yusuf, who is the founder, managing director and chief executive officer of Kazim Limited one of the frontline integrated oil and gas support service engineering firms in Nigeria. It's a package you can't afford to miss. Stay with us. The ammonia garden we are talking about is not new. We are not new to the market. We've been on ground for the past 11 years. We sold land. We perfect tight for most of those who you call good in real estate. Come and invest in real estate. It's beautiful. Come and buy our land. We have the sea of all of this land. The title is here. So you rest assured, sleep, pay us your money, and we'll give you the good market. Automatically, I'm looking at minimum of 2,000 hours here. So by next five years, I'm talking about, you'll be seeing something in replicating of Paris here. So that's the pledge I've given to you. Lolu Akingbe, an experienced, insightful and resourceful industry operator, is the Chief Operating Officer of Fen Church Group, a frontline integrated energy and infrastructure support solutions provider in Africa. So my role as the COO is basically to make sure that the operations of the company go according to plan and stay on track. So there are different phases of it. There's op organizing the operations in-house. So that's the whole staffing, policies, and everything we need to do in-house. Then there's also, because we're project oriented, there's managing projects and the people on projects. I also do a lot of stakeholder management, um, working with regulatory organizations, working with government agencies, working with clients just making sure that our relationships are good also making sure that our subsidiaries we have three subsidiaries moving accordingly so as a chief operating officer it's a very it's a heavy responsibility uh, it's exciting it's challenging but it's my role to keep things moving and we've been doing it so i have a good support system i have a lot of um, experience behind me also a lot of young people who work with me who are learning the ropes so i have to mentor them too but you know we have a fantastic team so you know it's an exciting role and it's something i look forward to doing every day is it challenging very nigeria it's a challenging business environment you know the economy is um, challenging the sector is challenging but as um the CEO had said, we're in it to win it. So we're in it for the long run. So we try and do things properly. You know, in our operations, we um, use technology and we use process to make sure that, you know, everything is in place. One of our operations is recruitments. And we've been recruiting bright young um, Sparks, Nigerians, you know, and. They're willing to learn, They're, they soak up knowledge, and they also bring innovation and creativity to, to the roles. You know, these um, younger ones, they have a lot of energy in them. So we also thrive off of the energy. 
I also have a couple of experienced hands that I work with too. You know, we've been through this before. We, we, we map the path, but the young ones are almost like the engine room. So it's, it, it's, it, it's a balance, you know, and it's been working and we, we were, we're moving forward. This is Avila Group. Welcome to our world. Avila Group. Call us on our premium numbers. Samuel Mbang, a seemingly young but visionary, goal-getting and resourceful industry captain, is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Pride Rock Innovations and Realties Limited, one of the fastest growing real estate firms in Nigeria. Pride Rock started in 2017. We registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission in 2017, 11th of January 2017. But you know, registering did not necessarily mean that we were full into physical operations and the rest. In fact, our first office space was inside my car. <laughs> so at every time we go for inspection, we sit in the car and then um, talk about those inspections. And sometimes when we have clients, we just need to find an eatery, put the clients there, make him feel comfortable. But because it was already a registered company, so there was a, a bit of trust that it was a corporate entity. And uh, from there, we grew as a result of servicing some clients who believed in us and were able to uh, part ways with uh, their, their monies and the rest. We got them their properties and then they were, they were excited. Fast forward to 2021, we got our, our physical space where we are right now. But the, the funniest story about it was we got the space in 2020, but we could not use it. <laughs> we were here for one year. So um, what, and that was during the COVID period. So um, businesses were affected, a lot of ups and down with um, small and medium scale um, enterprise. Uh, but we, we kept pressing. We, we knew we were um, called for a specific purpose. We didn't go into real estate to make money. We went to real estate to render service. And we knew that service rendering, solving problems, would create wealth. So and we were able to push during that, those periods. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. We, we had our first chair as the paint rubber that we used to paint this office. That was the first chair we had. <laughs> so we sit on it, strategize and plan. But we were not discouraged because we knew what we were uh, going for. And uh, here we are, 2023. Our vision in Pride Rock, like you said, we saw a gap and we didn't want to come in as another real estate company to run real estate like the people who were doing it. Our vision is to make everybody, make everyone a proud homeowner. And so, you know, somebody will hear and say, ah, how can you make everyone a proud homeowner? Underline the word everyone and it's a possibility. So the thing is, everybody have home ownership dream. Everybody have that, that dream house in their head. But the truth is, it all starts with owning a land. So land acquisition is the core when it comes to home ownership. So you see, if we need to make everybody a proud homeowner, then we need to subscribe more landlords. We need to make more landlords. How are we going to do this? How will this vision come to play? We now crafted our mission through innovative, flexible, and affordable real estate opportunities through flexible, affordable, and innovative related opportunities. Innovative in the sense that we have already a 17 million housing deficit. Good investors, a popular saying in real estate that says, 
find out where the people are going by the place you know what that means it means you are smart and you are wise Ibejuleki is one of the fast most developing area in the whole of Africa and that is where we have this amazing and wonderful estate every penny you put in this amazing estate we generate a very high return for you. Dangote is employing 300,000 workers. Have you thought of it? That when he employs them, where will they live? The perimeter fencing work has gone far. We have been able to accomplish the perimeter fence, meaning that we fenced the whole of this estate. House has started as well. We've been able to commence the gate house process so that your investment can be safe and secured. Give us a call and let's guide you on how you can lock down your own plots or hackers in this wonderful and amazing estate. Dayo Adedayo, a British trained, audacious, and goal getting photographer as well as entrepreneur, is the founder, managing director, and chief executive officer of Dayo Adedayo Photography, one of the fastest growing integrated photography firms in Nigeria. Dayo Adedayo Photography started around 1988. It's going to be 35 years this year in April. It started out as a social photography, i.e. covering events, all sort of things. Social photography, generally. And at a point in my career, I went back to school to actually study photography. And that changed my life entirely. Uh, it was then I realized photography goes beyond social photography. And um, since then, it, uh, the way has always been up. And then I ventured out of social photography because it became very boring. Same thing day in, day out. Clients could be very rude, but they are far in between. But I've met too many fantastic people in the process of my journey. But all in all, I thank God for grace. I thank God for the mercies and the favors He has shown on me. You know, but in a nutshell, uh, it's more of integrity persistency because it's not a profession whereby uh, you attached importance to uh, when I first ventured into it. It's not a profession where you know you are going to make your you are going to make your daily needs, you know, but along the line some people will come into a profession and be the John the Baptist and subsequent people will come and make more money or make the profession to the, the, take the profession to a greater height. Uh, I'll see them as the Messiah. I see myself as John the Baptist in this line of profession. My vision, uh, I won't say started 35 years ago, but I have this vision as a 2002, which is about 21 years ago. My vision then was to have uh, each home in Nigeria to have a piece of Dayo Adedayo. And 
for the whole world to know that I did that after 10 years. Uh, I pray to achieve that by 2012. And how do I accomplish this? Is to put in more efforts into what I do, uh, get more educated because whatever we do in life, uh, we need serious education, no matter how rudimentary the profession might be. Without education, we'll just be wallowing in abject poverty. And have I been able to achieve that? Even though I didn't achieve it in 10 years, but today, I can gladly say that it has even gone beyond my imagination. Even though not all Nigerian homes have a piece of diadidio, but I can gladly say virtually all Nigerians carry my work uh, because in 2014, which was 12 years after my vision, uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria, during the celebration of the centenary of Nigeria, uh, used my pictures on the first digital currency in the world. And I met the central bank governor just a few days ago at an event. And I went to him to go and thank him for what he did actually, because that was the first in the world. So the 100 Naira note, there is a QR code behind it. If you scan it, all the pictures in the, on the QR code with the history of Nigeria, with the exception of that of Mr. President, all of the pictures they sourced from me. Uh, CBN gave me a plaque, you know, just to commemorate me for doing such a wonderful feat. And yes, my vision actually came to pass in 2006 when Nigeria first had the first digital passport in Nigeria. Engineer Kazim Yusuf, a certified engineer, visionary, and goal getting industry captain, is the managing director and chief executive officer of Cosim Limited, one of the fastest growing integrated engineering firms in Nigeria. Cosim started April 2012 in my then living room, the two bedroom apartment. So I took a part of the living room for this purpose. And then most of the works that we did were for the water and wastewater market, environmental. And then we moved from there to start um, get providing small services to engineering companies that were major contractors to the oil and gas. And that's where the dream of venturing into oil and gas started. And then by 2017, we decided to come out fully then we got an office space, employed the first um, employee, and then the process started. And since then till now, it's been engineering and engineering and, and building more capacity within the gas market, where we currently cover our niche. Uh, and that's where the market where we play at the moment. 2012 startup was more of, let us just try. You know, I, I didn't have a job at that point in time. I wanted to make sure that I built something for myself because it was what I wanted to be an entrepreneur. 
and be able to um, contribute to the Nigeria economy. So that's where the dream started, April 2012. The services that we provide are mainly in engineering design and construction, and as well construction management, you know, by extension project management. And the market where we operate is in the gas market of Nigeria. I'll break that down into the LNG market, the LPG market, the CNG, and the natural gas. We are not sellers of gas, and we do not distribute, but we are construction specialist. We, in the past, we have done um, some operation works and then because of that, we know exactly what are required in terms of facility for these um, commodities. So what we do is to build the facilities to support the, uh, the sales of these commodities. And that's where our value, uh, the revenue stream comes from. We, we do this um, for clients who are major sellers or major distributors. So our clients own terminals, um, you know, ranging from 180 metric ton LPG terminals to 5,000 metric ton LPG terminals, pipeline construction for natural gas transmission and distribution, small CNG facility for compressing gas into um, bottles that can be taken to power stations and all that. And things around this area are where we operate and that's where the revenue comes from. We look out for clients who have businesses within this gas industry. As long as you have anything to construct or you have an idea that you intend to nurse into reality, we can take it up from concept from, for you down to construction and commissioning. We have the ability to be able to draw up an engineering design from your ideas and turn it into a safe and innovative operation for you. And we can also train your personnel to um, be able to use up the plant. One of the unique things that we that are set us apart from competition when it comes to building LPG fa um, facilities in Nigeria today as it stands, is the fact that we do not just construct, we put safety at the back of our construction, ensuring that we build facilities that are very safe. And, uh, you know, some of our clients always come back to us to say that, you know, one of the things that we've done for them is that we build a facility that fights itself to finish without including anybody. So an unlikely case of a fire incident at an LPG facility, for instance, would not require any personnel intervention. The personnel are expected to run away to the muster point where they are going to be um, counted and you be sure that everybody's safe. And then the facility will fight itself automatically. These are some of the unique uh, provisions that we, we provide and um, this is just within the LPG area where the competition is a bit stiff and where we understand that there are quite a lot of players within that um, market. We also do so many other things apart from just only the safety side of it. We do the entire engineering from the design, from the front-end engineering design to the detailed engineering design to construction to commissioning. All of these are what we do. So clients who have needs for these services can walk into us. We are like an A to Z of the engineering within the gas business. We are positioned to be able to provide these services. The market has been responding very positively, to be honest. And I think this can be attributed to the fact that we have been able to meet our customer needs and exceeded their expectations at many times. We have invested little or nothing in business development and marketing because quite a lot of our clients have come by referrals because we have constantly done well. So the market is responding very well, I must say. And um, we hope that within a couple of um, years, based on our aspiration, we'd have transceded the shores of Nigeria to West Africa and um, you know, to the larger global market where we intend to be in a few years. The gap that I actually saw is the fact that within the oil and gas markets, the industry, my observation is that a lot of people who do these services that we offer to our clients do them from abroad. And we understood that with the right skill set in, in country, one, it drives down the cost of the services and then makes it more affordable for a lot of more investors to come in. So we decided first to train personnel within. 
we started the training, we set up an academy where we started training personnel and then we use this same personnel as our tools, as our resources to be able to now deliver world-class services that meet um, the metrics of any international standards. So this is what we have done. And with that gap and the covering of the gap, we understand that the market is still very wide and as such, our um, academy is still in works. We still have the academy where we train people, artisans and at the same time engineers who will then become employees of some other organizations and even in organizations pay for them. We have this on one side and on the other side we also have understood that we built local content capacity such that you do not need to go abroad anymore. If at all you have to, it will be for services that we do not have the capacity in country. So, and that's what we, we've been able to do in the past. Dayo Adedayo Photography, one of the fastest growing integrated photography firms in Nigeria. Dayo Adidayo Photography. Call us on our premium numbers. same vision they have from the diaspora so if you are using natural products your skin will not age fast many brands are, are already in, in touch with us and that speaks to consistency and that's about it on today's package of the eom business network thank you very much for spending your value time with us we do not take it for granted we only hope it was worth your while a deep gratitude to our sponsors for your continued interest and support always remember with you and us we are charms Always join us on any of our other feedback portals as you can see on the screen. I remain Olorugo Elkana Moare. See you same time, same channel next week. <laughs> <laughs>